Shalom, brothers and sisters, all praises to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Thank y'all for tuning in, brothers and sisters. I'm Brother Jedaniah, and brothers and sisters, I have some things I want to share with you. First of all, I want to um, recommend y'all go to my bit shoot playlist. Now, I have another playlist that I created right here to expose more of the evils that's going on right now, brothers and sisters. And concerning these evils, we can see the the mark of the beast is here. It's here. And it's kind of like a two-fold system with the mark. It's a, it's a system where they want to change your DNA and add stuff to your body to where they can tune in, so to speak, to your mind, to be able to control your mind and your body and to be able to come into you. You know, they've been telling these these things all along through the movies certain um sci-fi tv shows and stuff like that especially through threshold go check out that series on youtube called threshold got some real insight and pay close attention to the first two videos very important that you get those two videos down before you continue the series and you will see um part of their plans or most of their plans enveloped into that particular series brothers and sisters and you couple it in with with these two playlists here uh i'm gonna leave a link to both playlists watch this one first then come to the more evil exposed brothers and sisters and you have your eyes awakened a little bit more and some of you may have seen some of these videos but watch them anyway you know there might be some things that you missed Y'all hear what I'm saying? So this here will just clue us into the wiles of the of the devil, the wiles of the evil ones. In these last days, brothers and sisters, it would help you greatly if you check these two lists out. And also, um, I'm going to play this here toward the end. It's just a minute and 54 seconds. I want y'all to listen to that, but. My other recommendation is check out this end time Bible prophecy playlist here. I got some videos if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, check them out. Uh, oh, I was supposed to move this video out of out of this playlist, but anyway, check out these videos here, and uh, check out my brother's video right here. And also, I want y'all to. Uh, let me see. Let me go here. Go to the audio Bible books uh, playlist and check out some of these here, brothers and sisters. And definitely read the book of Enoch, especially uh, the last few chapters from, I believe it's 85 or... 86 where it talks about the animals on back to the very end of the book which uh, really read the whole thing because it really clues you in on the wicked and the righteous so very important right there brothers and sisters that's my recommendation right there uh, so please go check this out and if you are led to check out any of the other playlists that I have here, uh, even Hebrew Yahshua -like music, Yahweh worship music, I, I think I have that. Uh, on public, I'm not sure. I think I was building it up first or whatever the case, I, I'm going to make it available. Um, Messiah in the Old Testament, the House of Yasharal series. Definitely check that out. 
Mark of the Beast. Uh, I really got to refresh and add some videos here. I need to refresh the Mark of the Beast or make a new Mark of the Beast video. Brothers and sisters, uh, I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be working on that, especially with what we've seen over the last two years and what's been building. But I've always said that uh, whatever's gonna go in you is gonna change your DNA. I've said that in past videos, and it just took me a while to put it together with the evidence that's coming out uh, with what everybody is facing around the world are being forced to take around the war out around the world that that what's in there can and is changing people's DNA. That's why they have these bad results and bad effects. And it's, it's, it's real crazy brothers and sisters, but I believe that it's a two part system. It, it deals with what they're trying to get, get into you, get you to take. And it deals with, um, the chip that's coming as well that's going to be a part of it so i can clearly see now this is a two-part system this is the beginning of it and the chip is the last of it you know hear what i'm saying so it's intertwined along with the internet of things along with um this this um blockchain type of system that they was they've been building in the um, cryptocurrency one world religion one world government and of course um uh, i forgot the other one i was going to say but anyway y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> lost my mind for a second <laughs> but anyway brothers and sisters check that out um uh, I also wanted to uh, re reiterate on this here particular verse where it says, For there shall arise false, false, you know, this word here. Now, this word means anointed one. So many, many, for there shall arise false anointed ones and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. So if you stop there, just for a moment, we're going to come back to this. Then you go to 2 Thessalonians. Because that lines up with what's in 2 Thessalonians, brothers and sisters, chapter 2. And let's see right here. It says, for the mystery of inequity doth already work. Only he who will now let will let it only he who will now let it will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall the wicked be revealed whom Yahweh shall destroy or consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of Hashatan Satan with all power signs and lying wonders y'all see that he has power and he can work signs and lying wonders and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be deceived. And for this cause, Yah shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So this goes right along with Matthews 24. In 24 brothers and sisters let's go back so you have your religion your two main religions which is Islam which uses the scriptures as well and Christianity which uses our scriptures but has taken a lot of the books out so they have their prepared book for that particular religion using our books but not all of them so right here, for there shall rise false anointed ones and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. So through that character, JC, they are showing signs and wonders 
brothers and sisters. And it's because they are being led astray that they may be, you know, they're being led by the fallen ones astray from the Most High. As Jubilees chapter 15, uh, verse 30, 31 says, the Most High has turned them over to, to other spirits to lead them astray from him. So he allowed this particular religion religion arise where there's a false Hamashiach with another image and false anointed ones, false prophets showing great signs and wonders within that particular religion, but never bringing you to the true freedom of the scriptures. Yeah, they bring you to the freedom of the world, which is different from the freedom of the scriptures. The true freedom of the scriptures is being set free from sin and death. That's the mystery of Hamashiach dying on the tree for your sins, that you might be set free from sin and free from death. That's true freedom, brothers and sisters. But the freedom of the world would just tell you you are free to do whatever you want. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Whatever you think is good, just do it. It's not the goodness of the Most High that they're saying to do. They're saying do whatever thou wilt. Do what you think is good. Just follow the love of your heart. And you can't go wrong. You know, they're t- they telling you all these things instead of telling you what Hamashiach said. Hamashiach said, for this is love to obey the commandments of the Most High, y'all. And didn't Solomon say, this is the whole duty of man is to obey the commandments and keep the faith in Hamashiach, y'all? Isn't that the whole duty of man to obey the Most High and keep the commandments? Simple. So the freedom of this world is not the same as freedom of the scriptures. Freedom of the scripture sets you free from sin and death, but it tells you not to do these things here, but do these things over here and you shall live. It gives you all the answers to to living. Faith without works is dead. By your works of your life, you will show that you have faith in this, in the one that came, who was made flesh, who was the word made flesh, y'all. So, they are preaching a different good news to the world. This Roman Christianity, which includes Catholicism and Islam, of course, is teaching something that's not, that was not given by the Most High. Though they use our words, though they use our book, A lot of y'all want to still cling on to G.O.D. and J.C. And don't see that those two characters are not the Most High and the Most High Son. You see, we who are set free from sin and death, coming back to the same laws, statutes, and commandments with some changes by the Mashiach that that was given to Moses. For those, for that first covenant has been renewed with better promises. And we understand it. So we obey the commandments. We obey the Ten Commandments. We we confess our sins. We repent daily. We live our life according or unto the Father. And His Son. Through His Son. The Father said, Hear ye my Son. And we listen, y'all. I don't know. Pass my time on this particular... Uh, No, no, I can still add it. I'll just stop this video right here. I only got like 15 minutes to record. But um, real soon I will have my original software again. And I'll be able to record longer. So, brothers and sisters, let's get to this particular video. And I'm going to show you some things with that. Hallelujah. Okay, brothers and sisters, um, I just realized that no, I won't be able to play that particular video, not here on YouTube. So I'm going to leave a link to that particular video 
in the description box below. But let me wrap up uh, this here, brothers and sisters, in relation to Second Thessalonians. See, in Christianity, we have pastors, ministers, preachers that go around laying on hands and uh, doing all manner of healings and different things that they be doing while preaching and teaching their version of the good news. And they show great signs and wonders, don't they? But they are false anointed ones and false prophets, brothers and sisters. And we who have woken up are no longer deceived by what's taking place in those particular organizations on their day of worship, their son deity's day of worship, brothers and sisters. And that's who they have truly are worshiping. Now, have you seen my videos um, about who is G.O.D. and uh, J.C., then, or if you did your own homework, then you know who those two characters are. And they've been inserted into the scriptures to deceive, um, basically Japheth's lineage. See, Japheth, um, uh, have taken our scriptures and removed books and only it was only put together books in their favor, 66 books, which there's a reason for 66 books. That shows who's their master, brothers and sisters, and and if you connect G.O.D. with sixty six books and and the, the the so called good news that they preach, which never leads you to true freedom, it leads you to further prison and enslavement of your soul because you're led in your mind to think that you can do whatever you want. In this life, as long as you considered it to be good, and that's why um, their version of their religion has gotten worse and worse over over the years, and have included much paganism, much uh, idol worship, and much whoredom and uh, adding of. Uh, fake and false celebra well, celebrations that the Most High has not ordained and has not included ever into his scriptures that we should be participating in. So all the signs of this particular religion is there. Unless you come out of that particular religion called Christianity, you cannot be saved. You can't, I repeat that, you cannot because the Heavenly Father is not in those places he will not break his first commandment by having idols with him he will not break his second commandment by allowing graven images of anything above that includes his son and worshiping of wood and stone which includes stone statues and rocks and and crosses made of metals. These things we are not supposed to be doing. And counting rosary beads. And worshiping Mary. Calling her the, the queen of heaven. Or even calling the Kodesh spirit of the most high. To, a her. And worshiping it separately. As a queen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So there's much vanity going on and, and vexation and lies and deception in Christianity and even in the Hebrew Yashualite awakening. And unless you know the Most High intimately, I mean, you sat down at the table, ate dinner with him, him and his son, you won't know these things or you won't receive them if you hear them. They will just float away to the devil will come and steal it from you as soon as you hear it. Brothers and sisters, we are at the end right now. 
and real soon those around you who have participated in in the world's lies and deceptions and took it they themselves are gonna change soon or die soon and we are seeing wars and rumors of wars all over the place brothers and sisters y'all hear what I'm saying we were warned y'all even right here for many shall come in my name saying I am anointed and shall deceive many so how many people you know that has led you astray done look like they was anointed one because they can get down on that podium or that pulpit and make you feel good and make you high spirited and make you you know, y'all hear what I'm saying? You 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 felt that they were anointed because it made you feel good. Many has been deceived, brothers and sisters. And again, we are hearing wars and rumors of wars. Kingdom rising against kingdom, nation against nation, famines, pestilence earthquakes, diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, all everything that we saw just is just continuously getting worse and worse. The biggest sign that happened almost 600 years ago is when we saw the European nations rising and conquering the whole world. They were given a crown to go out and conquer. And Esau was at the very tip top. At the headship. Of Japheth's lineage. Rising to conquer the whole world. By killing, stealing and destroying. And bringing that religion. That false religion everywhere that the whole world might be deceived as Revelations chapter 12 says. The dragon deceiveth the whole world. Satan deceiveth the whole world. And he used the, the final Roman kingdom, the rebirth of the Roman Empire. He used that rebirth, that awakening where the head, where they thought it was wounded, it was dead. It rebirthed, it revived, and, and it raised his ugly head, and now it's now it's doing its final thing, and its final people has st stood up. Cruel people, y'all. Cruel nations, cruel people has stood up to, haunt, to even do their own people harm and affliction and death and destruction to their own. We're all trying to fight for our lives, and we see them fighting for their kingdom, they still believe that they can bring this nation back. They don't know scripture prophecy, y'all. They think they can keep the Western world the way it is. They don't see the, the true horrors of their kingdom. They don't see the judgment passed against their own kingdom by the Most High. You can't stop the Most High. You can't save yourself. It's too late for your wickedness have reached up to the Shamayin above and the most high cup of wrath, his cup of indignation is going to pour out on all nations around the world. All of them, not just the West. He's going to pour it out on the North and on the East and on the West. But you who are the elect, the true Yahshua lights, not the fake Jacobs that are rising up, preaching all manner of heresy. They're preaching about frequencies and and pineal glands and man they preaching stuff that wasn't preached by our forefathers at all how to raise your vibrations y'all need to run for people from these people that's not sticking with the what the father said stick with and if they bring in those doctrines they bring in even more damnable doctrines that you probably ain't even recognizing and some of them I done tried to warn you about. I done wrote a document on my website. And what to what look out for. I need to upgrade that and add to it. 
You can go to my website, check out the documents, download them, and, and, and keep those, bear those in mind as you read the scriptures and as you see things going on around you and in the world and avoid those things, brothers and sisters. You know, I've been purging out for quite some time. And it's been a amazing process, a good process. And I've even been tested by Hashatan himself. Yes, he came at me. And I would have fallen if it wasn't for the Most High. I came that close during this testing by him. His cunningness, his deceivableness. Do not underestimate him. And I thank the Most High for giving me that dream that I shared with y'all in uh, the beginning of in February, beginning of 2020, right before the before that worldwide thing started to happen. I had that dream. Go check that particular dream out. I think I still got it posted. Uh, I'll uh, put that link in the description box below as well. Uh, but anyway, brothers and sisters, I was warned that Hasha time was coming to test me, but the Most High kept me within his cup of cool waters, and his presence was peaceful and pure and powerful and, and, and beautiful as I was sitting there splashing water with other children, other Yashualite children. Now, don't get me wrong, but I didn't see no other nations there. They they could have been in there. But I just mostly saw brothers and sisters that looked like me in there. So don't take it personal. They could have been in there. I'm pretty sure they was, but I just didn't see them at that moment. I just saw, you know, a few brothers and sisters of them. Uh, Yashua lights splashing water, you know, children as children, was playing as children. And you know, the Muslim said, at least you come as a child, you will not enter into the kingdom. That means you have to become as a child and relearn his ways. That's what that meant, brothers and sisters. You have to, if you stay an adult and try to, try to, uh, Deal with the Most High and the Son. You, you, you gonna, you, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You're gonna c continue to say, "I'm a grown man. I'm a grown woman. I'm gonna, you know, that's gonna be upon you." But when you become a child, you're looking up to the teacher that's teaching you the ways of life, teaching you how to walk. Act, think, talk, deal with situations, deal with people, and much more. That's how you are saved, brothers and sisters. You come as a child and you, you work all these things into your life because we are creatures of habits, our creations of habit. Once these habits, righteous habits work in you, they will be a part of your life. And that's what the Most High wants to build inside of you. When he put you on that table and remold and reshape you. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. All praise to the Most High. Y'all, let's just give it up to him. Say hallelujah with me, brothers and sisters, because our king is coming. He is coming with redemption for his, for whom the Heavenly Father gave him. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Y'all endure to the end. Shalom. And also check out some new videos I'm be posting on BitChute. Uh, I'll make videos about it. Shalom.